Hello, I'm Matt from Ludovox.fr and I'm going to give you a brief overview of the legend of the cherry tree that blossoms every 10 years. So this game is about a mystical, magical cherry tree that blossoms every 10 years. And uh, in this game, you're going to try to collect the flowers and make bunches of flowers and you want to make the best and the most beautiful of, of bunches. So this is a... Um, Push your luck game as well as a majority game. It plays for two to four players ages eight and up, and it plays for around 20 minutes. So in this game, you're going to have a screen, and the screen is very important because it, it marks the areas in, your, in which you're going to place the flowers. So uh, you have the front of your screen, which is public, and this is where you make series, and you want to have the longest series of the same color because it gives you points. But behind your screen, you have majorities, and that's way more attractive points-wise. But it's also harder to put flowers behind your screen. So how does it work? You have a bag, and in this bag you have the mystical uh, flowers from the cherry tree. So every turn you're going to have a draw phase, and you can either succeed in gathering the flowers or fail. So how do you draw? Basically, you draw at least one flower. You can draw more, but one would be good. It's a minimum. And you can draw up to three times. And every time you can draw as many flowers as you want with the minimum of one. So, for example, I could take two flowers. And then I could do a third draw, and that would be the end. But I could stop there. But in this case, I want to push my luck. I want to go forward and take another flower. So, this is a very good case. Uh, my, uh, my gathering, my uh, flower picking has succeeded. So what do I do in that case? Um, I'm going to choose a color, put it behind my screen, I'm starting my majorities, and the rest goes in front of my screen, which is the series, if you remember. So now I told you that you can fail gathering flowers. And when you fail that, well, basically you have three ways of failing. The first is you're too greedy, you take more than eight, and then you lose automatically. The second is if you have three flowers with the same color. So in that case, if I draw these four, I have three blues, so I kind of lose it, and that doesn't end well for me. And the third case is if I have uh, five different colors. If I have five different colors, I fail as well. So, what happens if I fail? Basically, uh, what happens if I fail is I'm going to pick two flowers of different colors, put them in front of my screen, and all the rest goes back into the bag. So, now there is something very specific. We have black flowers, and the black flowers are special. They are going to count as jokers, but they are not really on your side. So, if I were in this case, the black flower would count as a blue and it would make me lose uh, and fail my gathering because I have three of the same color. And if I were in that case, I would lose as well because I have a fifth color. So they try to make me lose, basically. So that's how picking works and failing works. Now you know that, but what you don't know is what these cards are for. These cards are supposed to help you with taking risks. If you take risks and manage a certain combination, like double pairs or uh, things like these, you're going to uh, have a bonus. And these mastery cards, which are double-sided with an expert side, uh, they can allow you to, for example, if you have uh, two pairs, uh, they can allow you to draw something from the bag and put it behind your screen. So, you kind of cheat on the way uh, you put flowers behind your screen and they help you manage, um, well, basically they make uh, big takings a bit better. So you want to do that, but as you're going to do that, as you're going to be less and less prudent, you may uh, get near failure or fail altogether. So you're going to play like this until the bag is empty and all of the flowers have been taken. Then you reveal what's behind the screens and you're going to have scoring. So the scoring is very simple. You're going to score what's behind your screen. You have two majorities, 
cold colors and warm colors. So you count the number of cold colors, uh, cold colored flowers and warm colored flowers. And these are worth a certain number of victory points, a lot of them actually. And then you're going to count the, uh, the front of your screen and this is going to be uh, the series. So for example, if I have uh, two, uh, I count up to two. It's minus one point because I need more of them to, uh, to gain actually gain points. And if I have black flowers, they are uh, jokers. So I could place them uh, in any family to increase my count. And that would be it. You just total the scores up from the majorities and the series and you have the winner. Now you know almost everything about this game in which you're going to take risks. Also look at what the players put behind the screens because the majorities are worth a lot of points. Well, bye-bye and see you on Ludbox.fr. <laughs>